What's up guys, not Super Mario here and welcome to today's video. It is time for another review and it's time for Aladdin. I watched it yesterday and this movie had everything against the movie from the beginning. The casting choice of Genie being Will Smith because Robin Williams has done such an immense job with an original that everybody was like, who is gonna replace him? That's kind of impossible. Just use his voice and do some CGI magic and use him in the uh, live action remake of a Disney classic. But no, they went with Will Smith. Then the marketing was really bad. The first look of the genie was weird because it was Will Smith himself. Then when we actually saw the first time the blue genie didn't look good and everybody was like this is gonna be a mess and now after i've seen this movie it's not a mess it is actually a really enjoyable movie really fun really vibrant i think it does a really good job to show all the magic and uh, fun and music and whatever from the from the original and you have to know that I was never a huge fan of Aladdin as a young kid it's not in my top three top five Disney movies like Disney movie Disney animated movies from the 90s and early I mean the first one is Lion King uh, then I don't know Mulan is better in my opinion Pinocchio I really enjoyed and I enjoyed more than Aladdin when I was younger and I was like, I had really low expectations even before like all the casting choices, all the trailers, all the first looks and everything. And I think that really helped this movie because like I said, it is really enjoyable. It is really fun. The uh, songs are incredible. Of course, you know it from the original, but they added some new songs and they're really, really good. The casting I think was really good. Will Smith as the genie did did an amazing job honoring Robin Williams's role from the original, but also made the genie his own. It wasn't like a, some kind of an impression of Robin Williams. He did what he thought was the best thing and in, in a way that Robin Williams is also honored. He didn't play himself. He didn't play Will Smith as Will Smith because in the last few movies he kind of plays himself he is this charming likable charismatic guy that doesn't need to do a lot to be good on a screen but when you are like that in person or in real life it's just like okay you're playing yourself there's no substance behind it but in this movie he did an amazing job i think in my opinion so yeah will smith was great uh, Naomi Scott as Jasmine is phenomenal. She's gorgeous, talented. The way she sings is out of this world. I mean, it was incredible to hear her sing. The acting was on point. So she was great. I, I love it. I want to see more. I mean, Aladdin 2, why the heck not? Disney's gonna, <laughs> Disney's gonna be like, which Disney classic we can remake? Oh, there's none left. Let's start making sequels. And to be completely honest, I, <laughs> I wouldn't mind it because Naomi Scott as Jasmine is incredible, like immense, just really, really good job. Mena Masood as Aladdin did an incredible job um, as, as pre presenting this mm, everyday guy, uh, uh, like struggling on the streets, doesn't have a family, you can relate to him and everything, and Mena Masood did an amazing job as that, as Aladdin. So yeah, I mean, th there are some complaints that I have, especially the first 15 minutes are really rushed, really everything, all the characters are, and yeah, I know, we all know the story and the original, what is going on, but, and they kind of take it in a way, okay, you know everything, let's get to the point, like, in a second and that kind of was a problem for me i i know and everybody knows aladdin but still take a bit of time to explain to to introduce characters in a more slower way <laughs> let's say it like that first 15 minutes made me worried but after that i had a blast second thing that i had a problem with was jafar 
not the actor or anything, but we know the villains in Disney movies are over the top. And when you're a re and when you're retelling a story in a live action way, I, I would really like to see this over the topness to be a little bit toned down because sometimes it doesn't work in my opinion to be like it's it's very theatrical it's it's good if you are in the theater uh, watching a play but it, I don't think it does work really well in the movie it's not a big problem because Jafar is that way in a Disney animated classic in the original but when you're trying to retell or remake this story live action I don't think it works all the time in my opinion and the third thing yes CGI is at times a bit wonky but it wasn't as big of a problem that I would be taken out of the movie I didn't see that, I mean, yeah, sometimes it's like you can see the background is CGI, uh, you can see that all the movements that Genie does, uh, it's a lot of work, but still, it wasn't a problem for me. This movie was surprisingly good and I think the marketing did this movie a favor because the marketing was really bad and all the casting choices, even though I never had a problem with Will Smith being a Genie because I knew he's gonna do a really good job because it's Will Smith it's likable and everything and I didn't have a problem with that but now after I've seen the movie like I said first 15 minutes are wobbly too fast very rushed Jafar is at times too blah, 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 this is power I want to be the most powerful guy in this world da, da, da. and CGI a bit wonky but I had a blast with this movie it's really funny it looks good. Guy Ritchie did an amazing job with directing, even though that's the one thing before the movie that I was like, Guy Ritchie, I mean that there's gonna be a lot of slow motion, really, uh, really uh, pushing the all visuals, like very visually different looking movie, but this wasn't. He did an amazing job with it. And yeah, I had a blast. So the rating or grading, however you want to call it for this movie, I'm going to give it 8.1. It's really fun, had a blast, great music, great casting, great performances, a really good Disney remake in my opinion. So that was my review for Aladdin. Share your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about this movie? Did you have this, the same good time that I did or do you think it's just the biggest bull crap that you've ever seen because maybe you didn't like it i did but maybe you didn't who knows but this is gonna be it for today if you enjoyed this video leave a like hit that subscribe button share this video all over the place click that bell icon to get notified when i upload and i see you next time Bye.